Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, bring the hands to the chest. Take the left knee towards the chest and step, just reaching it back there into warrior three. Okay, so the navel lifts a lot and watch that the left hip doesn't turn open. Try to keep it down. Okay, easier said than done, but you're going to breathe here and do your best. So pump the breath a lot. Bend the front knee. Take it slowly back to high lunge. Inhale, reach the sky. Exhale, fist of fire. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Okay, not easy, but we're going to reach the hands up. Pump the breath so you have enough oxygen for this. Clasp those hands or the strap or the towel or reach. We're going to inhale here. Exhale, ground the back heel and begin folding inside the front knee. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, so it's not too much to center here. You're really looking forward towards the front knee. Inhale up. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, keep that front knee bent. Exhale, bow. Now fold, maybe bend the elbows a little bit and see if you can stretch them back. Open the front of the shoulders back. So nice open heart. In time, the palms come closer, the arms straighten more. All right, slowly inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Spin that back heel. Okay, we're going to step forward, bend the knees. Inhale, chair pose, reach. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Now that was a hard one, so stay here for a moment and maybe just bend the knees and kind of sway from side to side. If you don't make the floor right now, that's okay. Keep the navel lifted though, so you're supporting yourself. Breathe in and out, let the head hang. So now's the time to refuel with oxygen, so breathe deeper than ever through the nose. Good. Now slowly inhale, look forward. Bend your knees, and if you've got a big belly here, when you bend your knees, sometimes you might need to step wider, and that way you can place your hands on the floor. Okay, so however you can get there, that's good alignment too. Totally fine. Step back to plank pose. Inhale, plank. Lower down, knees are up or down to chaturanga, little or all the way halfway. Inhale, open the heart here. Upward facing dog. Downward facing, pull through the navel, and fold, fold, fold. Good. Walk your feet together behind you. And take a moment here to bend the knees and press back into those knees. So just give yourself a little resistance here to tone the front of the thighs. All right. Pressing through the fingertips, so arms are really pressing forward, and the knees are hovering. And we'll take three Shakti kicks from here. On your exhale, one. Little or big hops. Over time, you get higher with that as your body gets a little lighter. And three, we're going to hop forward between the thumbs. Okay? Or as far as you can go. When we inhale, offer the heart. Exhale, fold a Tanasana. Bend the knees. Inhale up, chair pose, reach. Exhale, hands to the heart. Namaste. Let's try one more standing series. Lift the right knee into your chest. Exhale, slowly balance as you take it back into warrior three. Good. So we're going to keep balancing here. This is a whole body toner. You may try taking the arms back and balancing that, but it all comes from the standing leg and the navel. You've got to really lift so the low back doesn't strain here. All right, bring the hands back to Namaste. Bend your front knee. Plant the back heel down right away. Inhale, stretch the arms up. And open up Warrior Two. So breathe as much as you're hearing me breathe, hopefully. Pelvic floor is still lifted. I'm going to float this a little. On your inhale, lift up and hug the navel back as you exhale, deepen the pose. Inhale, lift up. This gets the big muscles of the lower body, so you really start to amp up your metabolism all day long with this type of yoga. Very, very good if you're trying to uh, tone up 
and sculpt the body. On your inhale, lift up a little higher. On your exhale, place your left forearm on your left thigh here and stretch your top arm up and over your ear for side angle. Heart rate should be up now. So again, breathe deep. Goodness. Let's try to keep this front thigh lowering even as you plant your feet into the floor. Draw your navel to your spine more and spin your heart open a little bit. Take a deep breath in, come back to warrior two. Clasp the hands behind you. Straighten your front leg and parallel both feet. This is fan pose. We'll take a deep inhale, open the heart here. And with bent elbows squeezing in, exhale and begin to fold. Okay, I have obviously straight legs here, but it's cool to bend the knees too. Just keep those shoulders moving back. All right, and stretch the legs straighter in time when you're not pressurizing the low back. Okay, so if you're a little forward here, you can just gently bend those knees. Still a great stretch, still breathing. All right, slowly round up, come up to stand. And you're gonna take that front foot forward again and return to warrior two. All right, inhale, open. Exhale, bring the hands back to Namaste and turn forward. Spin on the back heel and step the foot up. That's a nice transition. Inhale here in chair, reach the sky. Exhale, fold forward Uttanasana last time. Inhale, look forward. Good. Take the hands to your chest. Lift that left knee. And using the navel right now when the pelvis is movable, to draw it up to the spine and create a bowl of space there. Begin to send that left leg back. Okay, bottom knee can be bent if you need to. Maybe the hands are reaching now. I want you to challenge yourself. It's a very intense feeling to do yoga, but it's also empowering when you use it that way. Okay, if you're trying to fix your hair like I am right now, maybe, <laughs> maybe not so great, but balance will happen over time especially. So reach back now, bend the front knee, and you're gonna reach along with the foot and ground the back heel immediately. Come up through Namaste, reach the sky. Open it out, warrior two. Good, inhale, lift up and draw the navel back. This is gonna open up that low back and front thighs. Inhale, lift, exhale. Good, lots of breath. Inhale, exhale. Take a very deep breath here. On your exhale, we're bringing the right forearm to the front thigh. Draw the navel in. Draw the back hip back a little bit so you have space to move your energy. And then lift your top arm up and over the ear. So see how I have a nice long line from my top arm through my back leg. You want that. We're stretching here. Okay, so I want you to draw the navel in more and spin the heart open more and learn to feel this intense feeling. It's like the feeling of hunger. If you're not starving yourself and you are a little hungry sometimes, you can endure that and help it make you more powerful. Drink some water though, put a little lemon in it. It's really good for keeping the appetite down when you don't quite need to eat yet. Okay, so lift and open the heart here. On your exhale, slowly come back up. Big transformation in the front thigh. Clasp those hands behind you. Straighten the front leg finally and turn both feet to parallel. Inhale, open the heart here. And exhale, begin to fold forward. All right, your body will go where it's going to go and that's where you want to work. And you will move deeper into these poses over time, but you're already deep enough on the inside. So keep the breath happening, keep the focus. Take the front of the shoulders back and down the back so you're not crunching up to the ears. Breathe. You're gonna bend those elbows and squeeze them in a little bit more and over time those legs come straight. All right, reach the heart, heart, heart. <laughs> 